Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you filming here? This is secret. Oh, this is top. Okay, here we go. You're the first face as soon as everybody walks in. Yes, correct. So basically, you know, other than checking people in, I show all the newbies around who have never heard of Legion. Um, I myself express that I'm a white belt, so there's nothing to be worried about here. We're all in good hands. And uh, yeah, every time somebody has a question about membership, the best deals, um, basically anything, I'm the girl to go to. <laughs> What's up guys, Sloan Climber here. This is our 6 p.m. Wednesday night gi class, so stick around, it'll be lots of fun. So I'll look in. We're gonna uh, get a nice little takedown off of this. So Calvin grabs me, I'm pulling him right into this Russian tie. Now look, initially I always like to start by stepping my foot behind his. There's a bunch of nice little foot sweeps and back takes we can get off of this, but um, Calvin's smart, he's gonna try to win this battle and step behind. All I want you guys to do, you're just gonna kinda send them flying on their hands right in front of you. And we're taking the back right there. Boom. Step behind, throw them forward, and we go double unders, okay? I got one hand in the armpit, and I got my flipper on the inside of my partner's thigh right here. Any questions? Yes, it's in front of his when I actually send him forward, okay? So I pull him past me, I step behind. Calvin wins this little battle with the feet, so now my foot's in front of his. I shuck him forward and here we are. Cool? All right, guys, let's give it a try on two, one, two. Um, I feel like my knee gets caught in me. Um, so I go, but then my knee like, is that? Um, I mean, just, just be more tight with that, that leg. Straighten it out some, okay? Okay, but it's, it's, I don't need to pull it out of the way. Yeah, no, I mean, I mean, not necessarily. It's it, it should do it for you, like when, by the end of the throw. So, so boom, pull him past, and then, I mean, just a, a small circle. Yeah, they're they're basically tripping over that leg. Okay. Yep. So we're gonna continue on drilling this. I get my partner past me, I step my foot behind. Calvin takes a step behind my foot. I'm gonna throw him past. Look at what I did with my arm there too, you guys. It's kind of like we're doing the, the Guitar Hero swing, right? I think that this is just more efficient than trying to just pull my arm up and, and past his body, okay? So, so we're here, throw him down, boom. We're right here in this spiral ride. Now, let's just do a little bit of review. A few weeks ago, we, uh, we went over this quite a few times. I just want you guys to put some pressure on your partners, like right underneath their armpit. You can even grab the collar if you like. And we're basically just spinning around this way towards the head to break them down. Now look guys, I'm staying on my feet, okay? I don't fall down with him right here. Here we are. So again. Now once we get here, look at what I do with this hand. If Calvin's up on his elbow, I'm gonna break him down. Cool? From here, if you guys prefer to, you can throw that hook over and look to chair sit and take the back. Or you can just stop right here or slide right over into, uh, into mount. All right, guys. Um, Calvin, would you just get on all fours for me real quick? First drill we're gonna do, we're starting with, you can just start with a body lock, I'm fine with that. We're knee to knee, okay? I'm right here. My goal is to get to some kind of dominant position, whether it be back, whether it be uh, breaking him down, getting to side control, getting to mount, whatever. His goal is to make a full escape, like getting back to his feet, or making some kind of reversal where he ends up on top of me, okay? All right, guys. Grab a partner, get into position. These will be one minute goes. We'll switch roles after a minute.
Go ahead and fill fill it up. Are you starting from? Uh, com from a completely disconnected guard, you guys. You're not touching each other to start. All right. Uh, it's a little bit of king of the hill. So basically, it's just a game of, of guard passing. Bottom guys looking to attack, uh, sweep or submit. The top guys looking to pass. And um, you stay in for three. If you, if you win three, you stay in. Um, then you go to the back of the line, let the next guy uh, take your position. All right, so what you see here is we've got the, a graduation for a beginner course class. It's a little bit smaller, a couple of people excuse themselves, but this is the last class. So they're actually sparring for the first time right now. And uh, I mean, there's a lot of jujitsu going on, honestly. It's uh, pretty impressive. Look, that guy's sticking the back over there. We've got like a little bit of guard play there. Coach Mike is just ruthlessly destroying a white belt. He's actually, Michael here, he's actually very talented, very good. I have high hopes for him if he keeps training. But yeah, in a second we're gonna give out some certificates and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool to see. Always my favorite part of the course. Today's kind of a slow day, honestly. Normally we've got like 20 people over here and like 20 or so more over here, but uh, you know, classic Legion afternoon, evening. That was three minutes. That was, that was pretty good. Let's catch our breaths and let's find the new partner. You guys know that this is not the first beginner course that we've done, but uh, every single time we get to class number 10, uh, it's really cool to see all of you do jiu-jitsu. You know, it's, I didn't see anything, any like wild, random stuff going on. It was all very systematic. You know, if you go to your back, they're about to mount you, you work for half guard. And um, I hope that tr through this course, you've, you've learned to enjoy our, our sport, our mar martial art. And uh, as I joked in the beginning, obviously this is not the end. Like 10 classes, this is kind of a taster. We definitely work super hard to teach you as much as possible, uh, but also to teach you that it's a long journey and that you should enjoy it for the sake of learning how to learn something as complex as jujitsu and uh, improve yourself through it. So what we'll do now is I'll uh, just call your name. You come grab the certificate, make your way in, uh, to the back of the line, and then we'll do a picture together. All right, so let's get started with Leah. Yeah, or Leah, sorry. Congratulations, here you go, this is for you. Yeah, guys, if you, you have to frame this in like a nice big frame and then pass it through the generations. Uh, before we take a picture, just so that I don't forget, so one thing that we normally do is an inauguration class in the 7.30 Fundamentals class. So for this course, that's going to be this Friday at 7.30 p.m. So, uh, Obviously hoping that you continue in that class. We're actually about to start it here. It's kind of the natural next step, but if you have a schedule that doesn't allow you to come in at 7.30 p.m., just let us know because we have other classes on the schedule as well. And Courtney there, she has all the info on like membership, schedules, coaches, anything you may possibly want to know. All right, guys, let's take a picture over here. We'll do two rows. What class is about to keep going down? Uh, the 7.30 Nogi class. What is our goal for the 7.30 class? To smash. smash. <laughs> we can have the body triangle if we want. 
So whenever we fall to the side here, I'm gonna bring him to the other side where usually people don't wanna be is the choking side. But I wanna clear that arm first. So when we're here, I wanna have both my hands protecting my neck. We shelf that arm to the other shoulder. And now my hand that's on his wrist is gonna go to the elbow. And the whole time I'm doing this, I'm also turning my shoulders towards him and using my feet on the ground to move my hips. So now I'm, I'm almost facing him. So now, once I do that, I wanna to try to underhook this top leg. And if it's too far away, I can use one of my feet to bring it to me and feed my hand. And then I'm gonna shelf that all the way up as high as I can. Now, once I do that, he's going to try to take the opportunity to mount me here. But I'm gonna have my elbow slide in across his waist. And now I push away as I slide my bottom knee in. And then we end up in the single leg X. Now from here, he's probably gonna to try to clear off that foot. I drop down into my regular X guard. We're gonna stretch, sit up to our hand. My bottom leg turns into a push as my top leg posts out to stand up. And now I just do my technical stand. And now we're just gonna wrestle to the back. So I'm just gonna pull his leg and then go to a body lock here. Once I get the body lock, we can spiral right our arms around and I'm just gonna bring him to one hip step in this hole right here, take my top hook, then we can go for our seatbelt, and then he's gonna do the same thing. So I'll uh, put a body lock on him here. He's gonna cross the arm over to the other shoulder here. Now, as he's doing this escape, I'm gonna try to mount, give him a little resistance. So then once we're here, it's almost like a live drill. So now he's gonna stretch. I'm gonna post the resist. He's gonna take my back, and then we, Repeat the drill. Any questions on that? Okay. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> so we're falling to the choking side arm. As I'm doing that, I'm peeling the elbow over my head and turning my shoulders. Now, if he doesn't have a body lock, it's the same thing. I'm gonna underhook the top leg here. And now once he tries to mount, my elbow is gonna slide across the waist and then we shelf that leg up. Now I just go to my X guard, start to sweep, wrestle up, and then we take the back. Okay? All right, let's give it a shot. One, two, three. And that's our warm up. <laughs> kind of noisy here. Uh, come closer in like a semicircle. All right, guys, so when we're starting on the feet, right? The grips, they, they determine a lot. So what we want to make sure is that we don't get into an inferior position right away. We actually want the superior position off of the grip exchange. So the first two grips that we'll do, grip breaks that we'll do are the simplest ones for the most common grips. Normally when we're starting off, we have, I normally have my right foot forward. In judo, a right-handed person normally has their right hand on the collar, left hand on the sleeve, and then if someone gets the same grip, we just have under position, it's kind of 50 Obviously with resting stances, this, these things change a little bit, but for now we're going to have the same stance, right foot forward, Sloan's going to grab my collar. So Sloan knows how to grab a, a strong grip here. You can see that his thumb is actually closing over his dorsal. What I'll do is uh, I can get a grip in like pretty much any position here. I really like this grip here. So on the side of his arm, I get my knuckles in there as well. Now my hand here is going to cover this bone right under his thumb. I'm going to put my hand on it. I'm going to do a lunge and extend in the direction where his hand is actually open. If I'm pulling this all over the place, in, down, left, right, it's very possible that his fingers are blocking a grip right here. So I go down and I extend away. And I don't do this. I don't do that and then go down and then do something else. Everything has to be at the same time. I like to say if you imagine Mike Tyson throwing a liver shot, same thing. Everything comes at the same time from the legs. Same vibes. From the legs here, boom, like so. And now, uh, because we're, we're slightly more advanced rappers here, we're not just gonna let go so he grabs the grip again. What we're going to do is break, point this down, and extend it across. My knuckles here are blocking his arm. And now, uh, depending on your experience level, feel free to add in an arm drag, 
a shot, a single leg, really whatever you want that's going to help you capitalize off the grip rate as well. And also, let's do this in movement, right? So we're moving around here, foam grabs the grip, I break it, and I do something else so that we capitalize on it, all right? So it's simple, moving, breaking, cycling. Let's go. One, two, three. Coach Anderson is on vacation in tropical Mexico at the moment. We miss him dearly. So I'm stepping in for a one-off class here with Sloan, who's always helping with this class. Paige is in here as well. So we, this is the next generation of Legion right here. People that have, sched, that have graduated from the beginner course normally go into this class. And then you can see blue belts as well. They're a homegrown 730 fundamentals class of blue belts. And they're, uh, they're doing a really good job kind of showing the way uh, for the white belts as well. So yeah, that's what we have going on. Uh, could you, mm -hmm. would you mind telling me, so like whenever sure. I get this, grip, yeah. let me know if this is wrong by the way. But. Yeah, it is wrong. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you want to put it like this. Uh -huh. So you cover it here. And also let's do right foot forward, left foot back, like uh -huh. this. Nice lunge. Now we're going to go low and extend in that direction. Boom. Nice. Yeah, that's good. What I like to do here, just because I really like turning my knuckles in, is I'll go down, right? Uh -huh. So I extend it here, guide it across, and then point it down. And then you can do a bunch of stuff. You can even just like kind of pull, snap down, and then go for a take knock. No worries. All right, so uh, with the grip breaking stuff, I prefer to just do more of them uh, for shorter durations and just do this for a long time. So come to my judo class, I'll plug it relentlessly at least during this part of the class and uh, learn some more. But the next one is a sleeve grip. So Sloan here, he's gonna grab my sleeve like this, right? So what I'm going to do, my reaction here will be to make an L with my fingers. L, as in he's gonna lose the grip. Remember this, all right? L, I'm gonna circle it like so. So his, the outside of his wrist comes into my L here, like this. And then I'm going to punch towards his chest. There's no actual punch. The way it works is I can't actually like literally punch his chest, but that's the direction where I'm going. So I go down and towards his chest. And now once again, you can capitalize on this. So if you've been working two on ones, for example, you move into a two on one. If you just wanna be from here and then swing into a sweep single, go for that. But if, you're, if you just want to get this first movement down, you can just focus on that as well, right? One that I like a lot is to switch from, from this grip to this one, reach over the back here. With the gi, this is a super nice position as well. So once again, he grabs my sleeve. I go down, grab the back, so the L on the outside, boom, extend like this. The idea is just like with the other grip, you want to practice this so much that with my eyes open, at midnight, he's in my bedroom for some reason, I do just this, all right? Let's go, one, two, three. Nice, so same thing with the two on one. When I go for the two on one, if I may here, on this side, what I don't want is to be kind of here. Okay. What I want is to be a little bit more in front here, and normally I go with my head in front like this. So a, a cue to look for is toes are pointing towards our toes. Okay. All right, this is kind of a good position here for a two-on-one. Okay. Okay. We can get it from a front headlock or half guard is most common whenever people are shooting an underhook. And I just snatch the back of their knee. And this kind of like, it doesn't look like much, but it makes a lot of his half guard not that as effective. And so what I'm going to do is just cradle the head together and then we put him on his side. And once I'm here, I'm almost past his guard. So what I'm going to do is just tripod and cut my knee through. And then I come back to the leg and I staple my knee behind. And now right here, I want to cook him a little bit, so I'm going to bring my second leg in, and then we shelf it up high. And now I'm just kind of like stretching him out, making him really hate his life right now. And then he's going to start fighting to get up. And so I shoot that underhook here, and I can go gable grip, or we can go handcuff where we reach around the back. That's a good option because then you can start cross-facing and being really mean here as you pass. And then I take the back here a lot of times. Uh, I have a question. Yeah. Um, I was having a hard time getting the pop hook in when I passed in the back. Like his hips were very in the way and I was oh, okay. pretty low. Do you want to do it real quick? Uh, 
So you gotta bring your, your knee. Is that what you're talking about? Uh, right no. here? Oh, okay. There you go, yeah. <laughs> Shelf that leg up. Uh huh. Right there, that's fine. Use this hook behind his calf. Yeah. And then just bring him into your lap. And then worry about the hooks. Exactly, yeah. You're stretching out the legs and then you can throw your hooks in. No, no, because the crab ride is just as good, you know, getting the, the hook behind the knee. You can manipulate the leg a lot from here. Like that. I can, like, keep him from turning into me. Turn into me. Yeah, turn the other way. Yeah, exactly. And then we, right. Mm -hmm. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, 292. Back at it again here at Legion American Jiu-Jitsu. <laughs> Today we're going through a series of cradle passing by the one and only Michael Salazar. But I'm going to add a little bit of Vietnamese slant onto it and make it... <laughs> Yo, where did we get you from? Uh, I'm a, I mean, I grew up just from chicken and rice and a little bit of fish sauce. But I think you don't need the fish sauce to be an American. Just so you know. Um, but, got, but yeah, guys, tune in this Saturday. Legion SWAT gonna come out Jiu Jitsu World League, especially the Nogi SWAT. We're gonna come in, we're gonna grab some neck and cast some checks, okay? Caveman Combat, Salazar Jiu Jitsu, uh, Eric Sands Jiu Jitsu as well. Let's fucking go! <laughs> what? I am an animal. <laughs> What kind of animal? I'm the same beast and a different animal. Like a, like a cat, cat woman. I pay for it. He's a cat woman now. He's like, still you. <laughs> Barely made it out alive on that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nogi class, let's circle up. We're gonna do a 10 minute round of just drilling back and forth with your partner. So you don't have to do the move that we just drilled. You can trade positions with your partner just like it's a roll, but with drills. So try not to stop in the middle and think too much. This is where I want you to just kind of feel what you're, you're naturally gonna do in a roll, but just drilling uh, speed, okay? Grab your partner, let's go. One, two, three. Yeah, I feel like the students need more time to drill their own stuff. If you're just drilling the stuff that I'm showing you, then may or may not work for you, right? So, may, you're gonna use it eventually, but maybe not immediately. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's go through here. <laughs> but yeah, that's like an endless drill from that honey hole position. Uh-huh. Throw your right leg around now. Exactly. And then he does the same thing. Here, I'm just keeping this wedge. And now I just fall back. Scoop that knee. Release. Here. And now, as he starts to kick out of this, here, I'm looking towards the far leg. Same thing. Nice. Look to your right, too. Nice. That's it, Ben. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you filming here? This is secret. Oh, this is top. <laughs> Everything looks cooler with a grill, right? 
That's a fact. Uh, southern blood in me. Makes me feel at home. All right, now get it back. Beginner course number one mm -hmm. in March. He started training in March. But we were looking at his uh, account. I think he's come to 130, 140 classes from March 1st to now. And you saw him. Like, <laughs> he's, he's no ordinary white dog. One of our best things. All right, guys. So look, it's. Almost 9 p.m., still a lot of activity in here, but that's kind of a typical uh, afternoon slash evening at Legion. The kids kick it off at 4 or 5, and then just a bunch of adults come through and we teach them all jiu-jitsu. And it's the pleasure of a lifetime. See you in the next one.